After more than a week of complaints raised by teachers all over the country, the Deputy Prime Minister responded to the concerns. He has since sought explanations from the Departments of Finance and Education over the cuts to teachers' salaries. So I've simply asked um, both those agencies just to quickly look into the queries and, and to make sure that um, we are paying the teachers what we should be paying them as, and address it as quickly as possible. So uh, what they have seen on pay 20 is their normal salary. They revert back to the normal uh, pay. With but Charles Abel continued to echo the statement by the education minister yesterday that lump sum payments had been made and the teachers were now receiving, quote, normal pay. So it will be the normal pay plus 3%. But an increasing number of teachers, especially in Morabe, have come forward saying normal pay for them last fortnight averaged between 0 and 45 kina. The pay cuts have been burdensome for rural teachers who've had to travel to late to find out why they were underpaid. Apart from the pay cuts, the teachers are also being burdened by additional costs when obtaining their pay slips. It is that it's um, a legitimate concern that teachers and all public servants should have access to a pay slip. They should be able to see um, how, the, how their fortnightly pay is uh, calculated and arrived at. And I think that's a very important point that the um, uh, Department of Education needs to address quickly. The PNG Teachers Association, the national union that represents teachers, has remained largely silent on the nationwide pay cut. Teachers still have not been given a clear explanation as to why the cuts have been made to their salaries. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Leigh.